So if you remember from the first video, we're trying to produce a 3D model of a yogurt pot that looks similar to the one you see here. Now we left in the last video having created the rough outline of our yogurt pot. One of the things we need to make sure we get right when we create our model is the normals. The normals define the direction in which surfaces are facing. The reason this is important is WPF only renders one side of each surface. So if your surface is facing the wrong way, WPF won't render it. Fortunately, Blender gives us some assistance in figuring out what direction the normals are pointing. So if we select one of our objects, switch into edit mode, the tab key switches us between uh, modes, and we can then select hidden off the page there, the option to draw normals. And perhaps we want to increase the normal size a little bit just to make it easier to see them. And if we spin things around now, we can see that the normals for the lid object are pointing outwards as we would uh, expect. Switch out of edit mode, select a different object, tab back into edit mode again. And now we can see where the normals are pointing for our main body. So those surfaces are pointing outwards. We've got normals pointing in from that lip, etc., etc., and that all looks pretty good to um, to me. So we are reasonably confident that our normals are pointing in the right direction. Now, if you do find that you have a normal pointing in the wrong direction, what you can do is select the object concerned, switch into edit mode, and select mesh normals recalculate outside and that will recalculate all the normals for that object hopefully getting them to point in the direction that you want but if there's a particular surface where the normal isn't pointing the right way you can just select flip and that will flip that normal around for you so the next thing we have to start thinking about are the surfaces on our object and the materials we want to use to render those surfaces so in our case more than likely we're going to want a material for the lid of the surface here. We're going to want a material for the main body of the, the surface, the cylinder of the surface. We'll probably want a different material for the base there. And we might even want a different material, oops, wrong one, different material for the, the foil lid, if you, uh, if you like. Now, for the plastic lid itself, that's already a separate object and that allows us to select a different material for that. But for the main body and the foil lid and the base, they're all composed currently of one single object. So in order to apply different materials, we need to split them into separate objects. To do that, let's zoom in again and switch into edit mode, bring up block select and we'll select that top surface and then we can just hit P to separate apart oops P to separate apart and select selected and that now will bring up a new object in our hierarchy here representing the top of our um, yogurt pot and if I do a block select again now make sure we've deselected everything by pressing the A key to select everything and then a key again to deselect, select block select, select those vertices for the bottom of our pot and again select P and separate. It's probably worth uh, while just selecting draw normals again and selecting the respective objects. So let's select the, there's our cylinder row two, that's now a separate object. Switch into edit mode, those normals are pointing the right way. And if we select cylinder 03 and back into edit mode, you can see the normals are pointing down the way, which is what we would expect. Let's switch off draw normals and put our view back and enable our lid again. So we've now got separate objects for each of the different surfaces in our uh, object and we've checked that the normals are all pointing in the right direction. Now one more thing I ought to do before we go any further is just to rename some of these items. So for example, we can call the plastic lid 
we've got our main body. If we hide plastic lid and we just rotate things, hopefully we can select our foil lid and finally can be a little bit difficult to select the base but let's go with the base as well and uh, that means we can easily identify each of our components as we um, as we go one thing you might also want to do is to recalculate the centers for some of these components now that we've separated them so for example the center of our foil lid is showing there in actual fact we probably want to transform that and select center new and that will place the center correctly and also the base will be the same so object transform center new and that will calculate a new center for that object so the next thing we need to think about are the materials we're going to use for each of the components of our object at the moment we've got four components we've got the base we've got the main body the plastic lid and the foil lid now most likely the base and the foil lid perhaps we're just going to make a, a simple uh, color so we'll just paint that with a, a material that is just a, a straightforward color the plastic lid um, we could do the same but we want to make that transparent as well at least partially transparent and for the main body most likely we'll use an image to paint that uh, as a material so that we can replace that image with uh, other products and we can use the same model for lots of different products so let's take those uh, from the simplest first let's go for the uh, the base and the base is currently set to be the same material as the um, the rest of the, the body because it was originally derived from that um, that object but what we need to do is switch into the shading mode and um, you'll see that that material is currently I've got it currently selected as a texture I don't want that I want to color this material and let's just go for something very bright like so and the rest of the uh, components already associated with that material also um, change but hopefully we should see that the base is now changed to that um, that red color so let's tackle the foil lid next and change that to a different color and um, what we'll do is associate the foil lid with a new material and perhaps we'll make that material instead of being red make that one green and if we just tip it over now and hide the plastic lid we'll see that the foil lid is green for the plastic lid we'll again add a new material and let's just go for white we'll set the opacity down on that to say 0.4 something along the, those lines we also need to set this z transparency so that the distance to the camera is used in calculating what object is in front of what um, what other object and hopefully if we render that frame now we're here we'll start to see that there's some transparency on that um, plastic lid that's looking good and then finally for the moment on the main body what I'm going to do is just associate that with a new material and perhaps make it a, uh, a different color again so let's make it oops Let's make it blue let's make it blue and we've now got a model that's got a separate color for the base the main body the lid and also the foil lid under there and again if we just render that frame we can see some of those colors coming through 